Hi, welcome to the next training session of SAP FICO. In today's training part, we will be doing check management. Check management is basically whatever the checks written up by the company for different transactions will be taken in it. The management of checks consists of the options like issuing, blocking, deleting and displaying checks. Checks from banks are usually divided into lots which are written or issued by the company. Check number range in SAP is represented as a lot in the SAP system. So the check numbers to be printed on the bank document is governed by the check management facility in SAP. Checks supplied by a bank or a printing shop are usually divided into lots since they may be written or issued at various different locations. In SAP system a check number range represents a batch or a lot of number checks. In financial accounting configuration menu we must define check lots that is the number range for the checks that corresponds to the actual check lots. This means that each combination of house bank and bank account ID a check lot needs to be maintained. This will correspond with the check serial numbers in use. The first and the last number has to be defined in the system and the system automatically allots or tracks the check number with the payment documents and it updates the latest check number assigned or used from the SAP system. The print program uses this number range to link the check with the payment. So. It's a very important part for banking that how you manage your checks because in a normal practical scenarios checks are written for different purposes for different payments and at the same time checks are at times are blocked get cancelled even we need to reprint the checks at times so how these facilities work in SAP system that is what we need to look in this. So in check management we will be doing the above transactions like how we can create the check lot, display check information, display check register, display payment document, void checks, issued check cancellation, check print check and payment advice. So in a normal scenarios, a practical scenario that whenever we configure the house bank and APP, we need to maintain a check lot. It is on the basis of that check lot that is the number range of the check that the system assigns the check to the payment document and later on we take the print on the stationery provided by the bank and we issue that check. So the checks are printed by the SAP system just the stationeries are provided by the bank and at later date you can check the informations related to the check related to the payment document that which check was issued to which, doc which particular vendor these things can be checked. Even one can have the check register as per the house bank that we will be we will be executing in the system how these things works. So first moving up to the creation of check lot in SAP. So to create the check lot we need to go to the transaction FCHI. So as you can see on the header check lots here we maintain the check lot for the company code. So 
the check lot is maintained for a particular bank and every particular bank is a house bank in SAP and every house bank have got an account ID account ID consists of the bank account number so it's on the basis of the bank account number that this checks are issued to the company code and that check number need to be assigned to that respective house bank and the account ID so to assign or to create a lot you need to go to the change option but before that we need we can go to this display option as of now when we go and click on to the display we can see that there is already a check lot has been maintained from this 10000 and the number status that this shows that that till 10002 the checks have already been used so this is already been defined in the check lot so when you can see the check number over here is 1 so the check lot which are maintained can have any number lot number it could be 1 2 3 serial number or whatever number you want to put it to now i need suppose in case this check number get used till 1099 and i need to assign a new check number which was been issued to me by, by my ma bank how I can allot that over here so going back you can see the option over there next to the display that there is a change option so you need to fill the company code house bank and the account ID and you need to go to this change option over here when you click on to this change you can see that it takes you a different screen and there are a lot of options on the screen on the header now here you can have a option of create delete even rename split a lot of options are there for the check lot and if I need to assign a new check number or a check lot for my particular bank city then I can go to this create and in create I need to assign the lot number so the lot number suppose I take the serial number after one it is 2 so 0 2 is the lot number but the check number range will be suppose it is 20000 to 20099 the next serial number or the check number issued to me by the bank so you need to put that first and the last number of the check and then the additional information you need to put sort info suppose I write it as Citibank and this check number or check lot which is issued to you when would this been issued by the bank that is known as the purchase date so you suppose I take the purchase that as of 15th November and I, and I put the date over here as a purchase date for this particular lot been purchased so when I put this information now I can move to continue you can see the check number has been assigned over here so the lot 2 has been assigned with the sort information as Citibank and the check number from this to this and now you can go and you can save this particular option over here and you can see your lot has been created so the check number have been saved so in this way we create our check lot now moving back to the next is display check information so if a particular document has already been posted a payment document has been posted to whom uh, the check number has already been assigned and I want to know the check information so how can I get it that is FCH1 or you can take a very practical example like uh, in a practical world what happens is uh, you get a particular check number but you don't know what is the payment details of that and you want to cross check in the system that that particular check number is issued to which particular vendor what is the amount of check when was it, it, it was been issued and all so those things you can check with this particular transaction display check information so moving to this particular second transaction FCH1 enter now you can find the screen 
over here you need to put your company code and then your house bank and account ID this is the most important three uh, three and one check number four things which you must need to fill so company code house bank account ID account ID means so as to identify the bank account number and over here you need to put the check number of which display information you want so suppose I take a check number one triple zero one this is a check which has been already been issued now I want to see the detail of this check in the system whether this check number exists in SAP system or not so to have a look of this you can fill these informations now press enter on the keyboard and you can see the screen displayed on your on your system that it is Citibank account ID name of the bank city of, of the bank and the bank key bank account number has been displayed to you the check number is there the amount of check is there forty thousand dollars and the payment date is 16th of November and the check recipient is TCS that is your vendor to whom you have issued the check so it shows you all the details related to your check information even you can go to this accompanying document and this will take you to the invoice as well against which this particular check has been issued so if I click on to this it will take you to the accompanying document number where you can see this KR document type refers to the vendor invoice so over here you can see even the vendor name is reflecting to you and the vendor code is also reflected so this particular part gives you all the information related to that whether that check number has been issued to which party what is the amount what is the date of check issued and all so this is a very important transaction which comes helpful at times in the in the uh, organization now moving to the next is display check register at times it happens that we want to see that how many checks have been issued and what is the st status of that and all so to have a total status of the checks we can have a check register the transaction for that is FCHN so it is FCHN enter now here you need to put the company code 1200 house bank city and your account ID for which you want to have your check register and in case you want any date parameters for which you want to have the detail of your checks for that you can go to this further selections over here and even you can put the date as well the date means the creation date from and to in which whatever the checks are created will be displayed to you or the date of issue can be taken as well so going back to the general selections there are a lot of options if you know the check number whose detail is needed to you so you can put the from and to range as well if you know the bank key or the bank account you can even fill and search those informations with that and even if you don't know anything you want to know a particular check number on the basis of the amount you can fill the amount over here as well so if you don't know anything as such you can fill these three things that is the company code house bank and account ID no need to click on this payroll check because payroll checks are the process through the HR department so moving on execute this report and this shows you the details of the checks with Citibank so you can see this particular check number 10002 has been void by the user because it may happen that it was been ripped during the printing so it does happen at times that you got a lot and out of that a couple of checks goes taunt or destroyed or ripped or while writing the check you made a mistake and it is now it cannot be used so in those cases the checks get void so we need to get them void in the system otherwise it will create problem for the continuity or the sequence to be followed now moving to the next on the below side is you can see that these are the other checks which have been issued by the 
bank and the payment document number is reflected over here the payment date is there the payment amount is there so you can have all these informations with the help of this check register so this is very helpful at times and even if you want to see that how many amount of check has been issued so you can you can see the eighty thousand dollars has been issued as a check as well the payment method is check over here C H E C K check means the check which is written by the companies to the different parties now moving next this is an important part that is check register so moving to the next transaction is display payment document so as we have seen that to display check informations where you have a particular check number but you don't know the details of the check and the details you can get it through the system with the transaction code SCH1 that is to display check information the same way you got a payment document number through SAP but you don't know what is the check number or the other details so if I get to know about a payment document number through SAP but I don't know what is the check number issued against that particular payment document how can I have those details through the system so that is it the transaction FCH2 in FCH2 you need to now let's execute it in the system slash n to exit this existing screen and FCH2 to enter okay mistaken FCH2 now you can see over here you need to fill this particular payment document number for which you need those informations related to the document then you need to fill the paying company code and the fiscal year for which you want to see these details so moving up over here when you fill these three details you can click on to the enter from the keyboard and now you can see the details are there reflected on your screen it says that the particular payment document number which is coming to you on the top is the payment has been made through Citibank and the bank key is this the bank account number is over here the check number is reflected to you and the check payment date is also over here 1611 the amount of the check was forty thousand dollars and the check has been issued to the party over here that is TCS even if you want to see that this payment document number is issued against which invoice you can go to this accompanying document and it will show you the relevant payment has been made against which invoice so click on to this and you can again see that there is a KZ and a KR document type KZ is a payment document type and KR is the invoice so this particular line item is the invoice against which the payment of forty thousand dollars have been made to the vendor and even if you want to see the name of the vendor it has reflected to you on the top the code the vendor name the vendor addresses are also reflected on the screen to you so this is this is, this shows you the informations related to the to the payment document number and its different check details to you moving to the next transaction is void checks the transaction code is FCH3 now what does void check is all about void check is used to void unused check in the system this can be used to prevent users from selecting unused check lots before payment now let's take an example that we are using the checks and suppose a check goes is I can say destroyed by you or been torn or ribbed by you while you have been writing the check and but in the SAP system that the check number has not been utilized yet so you need to go back to the SAP system and you need to void that particular check 
so that whenever the next payment is done the sequence does not goes wrong suppose there is a check number x which has been ripped by by mistaken by you and you don't cancel or void that x check in the system in that case whenever the next payment will be done then the payment document number will take the check number as x until you have void that check so you need to take care of that that whenever a check is unused or is somehow is uh, something that cannot be used in that case you need to get those check void in the sap system so that the sequence of the check number does not goes wrong so moving up to this particular transaction that is fch3 fch3 now over here you need to fill the details company code house bank and account id these three things are something which you need to fill at each and every check information details you need to put the check number which you want to to be void suppose i put the check number over here as 3 that this 10003 has been somehow destroyed or misplaced or been stolen something and i cannot use this particular checks now means i cannot write these checks but these checks have been allotted in the sap system in the house bank so if i don't void these checks in the system these checks will be assigned to the payments and i don't have the check lot or the print physically with me so i cannot use this so in that cases i need to get these checks void in the sap system so if you need to void these checks you need to go over here and you need to give the reason for voiding what reason is it so you can see there are many reasons which out of which you can select it could be testing print out ripped during printing printed incorrectly destroyed unusable stolen incorrect lot inserted and a lot so there are different reasons out of these any of them can be selected by you suppose i take it as stolen or destroyed so once you have taken this over here now you need to get this check number void you need to go to over here void and you can click on to this and this check will go void for you so you can see as you clicked on to the void this information generated is check 10003 and 12003 have been voided that means now the system has the check number 100 as void and this check number cannot be used against any payment so the sequence is correct the next check will be used is 10004 for any other payments so this is very important to keep in mind and it should not be missed otherwise all your sequencing for the payment will go wrong and this becomes a big blunder at times now moving next is issued check cancellation so suppose i have made a payment and i have issued the check to the party but later on some due to some reasons i need to cancel those checks so void check and issued check cancellation are two different thing void checks are something which you have not issued at list till now to anyone whereas issued check cancellation means the check has already been written has been issued have been assigned against the payment document number in the system but now later on it needs to be cancelled due to some other the reasons so how we can do that how we can cancel the checks so for that we need to go to fch8 so moving to the transaction fch8 enter you need to put the details which check you want to cancel so suppose i take the check number as 10001 and you need to give the reason whenever you cancel anything you reverse anything in the system you need to give the reasons for the reversals so you need to select the reason out of this options so suppose i write the option as
stolen and you need to give the reversal reason as well why because when a check is cancelled the payment document also get cancelled so the payment document number will also get reversed by the system so you need to assign the reversal reason and it will be 02 so once you did this you can click on to this cancel payment and your payment will get cancelled so the payment document number which is generated will get cancelled and as a result of which the check number will also get cancelled so click on to this cancel payment and now you can see that the payment for 1000 was cancelled and reversed the document 170005 means the check number is cancelled and against that the document which was been uh, made the payment document is also been reversed with this so this is how the cancellation of checks take place moving to the next transaction is print check and payment advice so in this case what happens is suppose I have made the payment today that my payment document number has been generated the check has been assigned to it but I have not taken the print today now I would be taking the print in some other day so how can I take the print of that so for that you need to go to this transaction print pay check and payment advice that is FBZ5 by which I can take the print at any other day or maybe the payment advice I need to print again so for that you need to go to the transaction FBZ5 enter you need to select the document number over here and suppose the document number is need to be checked so I need to check which document number print I want so let me check the document number So the document which I want to print is 150013 you need to put the payment method and the lot number from which this check has been used once and then the print for form is LP01. Now once you have filled these details you need to go to this check and in this check you need, you need to go to this print and when you click on the print the system asks you old check, new check or cancel. So you need to take always the old check because I don't need to assign any new check to the document. So we'll click on to the old check and you will see that it raises okay, there is some problem. So over here you will find that the screen will be populated as of now. Maybe the script is not assigned as a result of which the check is not printed, but the process is this. Let me check or try again. So let's take the print again. You need to fill the document number, the company code, fiscal year, payment method, check lot number, and you need to assign the printer. Now, first is for check, and another one is for advice printing. So you need to select both of them as LP01 and you need to click over here as print immediately so once you do that you need to go to this check and you click on to this print so once you click on this print you will see that the system asks you whether old check or new check so it, this always has to be old check and as you click on the old check you will see that the print job is generated so once a print job is generated you can go to your print job that is over here as own job and you can print your checks with there
so over here a uh, job has been scheduled for you and on the basis of that job you can print your your particular check So this is all about the job need to be assigned with the printer then only you can take the print of this. So this is all about the check management how the check are utilized in the SAP system and how checks could be managed in the SAP system so that the management can be done easily and the information can be gathered on the checks from the system and it will stop a lot of mistakes a lot of manual activities to be done will be reduced and will be make the banking system for the company code more faster and more relevant so that is for the check management in the next training we'll be doing automatic payment run and we'll see how the automatic payments are processed through the system Till then, keep practicing. Thank you.